Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. I recently released my new album, Life is for Taking Chances, and I commissioned artist and illustrator Isobon to make the cover art. I got the chance to talk with Isobon, AKA Christopher Butler, on a Zoom call recently, and we went behind the scenes of this cover art for my album, Life is for Taking Chances. I hope you enjoy. I found you on Instagram, I don't know, like in 2015 or something because of your Spider-Man illustrations. And I was like, man, this guy is awesome. Yeah, I sent you that message. I was like, maybe he'll reply. We'll see what happens. And then you did. And yeah. I was so pumped. So and what you made was incredible. The the guy sitting there. Uh, how did how did you describe it to me? You've just done something incredibly stupid, but it paid off. And just that elated feeling of like, you know, that sort of feeling of being untouchable. And we had talked a little bit about specifically, it's like the character needs to have kind of a look on his face. Like it's it's really needs that kind of, that sort of smirk. I didn't really send you any ideas for this. I was I just sent you an emoji. Like this is the emoji. This is the thing right. that I want on his face. How how did that? How did you react to that? Is that something that you usually deal with, or was that like who the hell am I working with here? It's like if you can have a conversation with somebody, especially if you if it, if you if it's face to face, that's great. But even just hearing the tone of their voice and just sort of talking about it, and and even talking around it, where you're not specifically even talking about the thing, but you just sort of get an idea of like how does this person sort of think and how do they work. And when we when we had that first call, it was like I think I kind of get this guy, you know, and I and I get you know, and certainly the music sort of speaks for itself. So it's like, so getting the emoji, and then I, I think I think you said something more or less like, you know, I, I I want it to be in your style. Don't worry too much about you know, and uh, uh, and you and you specifically didn't want to really direct it a lot. And, you know, I, I don't have to tell you, a lot of times that's not the case. And not that that's a problem. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of clients that when they come to you, as, you know, for an illustration, it's usually because it's something that means something to them. And if they have a really specific idea, then it's like, okay, I'm going to try to really figure out what that specific idea and try to, try to meet that in the middle. But in this case, I was like, oh, well, I get to kind of play a little bit. And I, and I didn't really, I, I didn't know what it was going to look like. So I just started doing like gesture drawings and it was like something that felt like, it, you know, the, the everything is about just sort of the body just sort of resting and, and then the look on the face, you know, the Western setting seemed to fit right. When I listened particularly, and I think we were just talking before we started recording about One Shot. And it was like, oh, that just, this song has personality for days. I just love it. I think you can tell when an artist has really enjoyed a piece. You know what I'm saying? Just the same way as you can, like if you're listening to somebody's music, like you can tell if they enjoy it or not. And if it, and if they're really into it and they really dig it, it just sort of, it, there's something about it. It's like they, you kind of get it and it just comes through and it seems kind of natural. And that, that, that was the way that drawing was. This is a little behind the scenes for you that I don't think I even discussed with you. There was a part of me that was looking at it and like, oh, I, I actually like it in black and white. And I started thinking like, well, may maybe I talked to him about, hey, maybe this is a black and white cover. You did also send me the black and white in yeah. all the files. Was that right. sort of like a sneaky, I wonder if he's gonna choose this black and white one over the color? Do you know, not, not so much. I think at that point I was still just trying to make sure that the style was right. Because I, you know, I don't have to tell you, some, sometimes you'll have people that'll, that'll, that'll say like, oh, I just want you to do, do your thing. But you never know, somebody could be thinking like, oh, well, I actually do have something kind of in mind. So I like to I like to at least throw some thumbnails and make sure that I'm not too far out and I'm not sort of, and, and I didn't think I was in that case, but I, I like a little reassurance to make sure that, you know. So I hadn't even thought about color. Usually for me, color is something that comes pretty late. For the first time ever with this particular illustration, I thought, you know what, I may, I may actually get a colorist on this because I wasn't sure I trusted myself. It was like, I knew what it was gonna look like in my head, but I was like, you know, I'm worried that I was, I wasn't gonna make it, um, that I was gonna miss an opportunity to do something interesting with it. So uh, there was a, a friend of mine who's also a, an illustrator and, a, and, a, and, a, and he's marvelous with color. It's kind of my weak spot, but this guy, this guy's a genius. You know, I showed him sort of what I was thinking and uh, he made me feel a lot better. He was like, no, 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 man, you got, you got this. This is, this is gonna work for you. So yeah, I'm, I think it turned out all right. It did. I love the colors that you chose. And I believe the only thing that I changed when you sent me the rough sketch of it uh -huh. was, you know, I was said, 
his his boots look great, but you got to make the pants go over the boots rather than tucked in. I don't know yeah. if they were if that's the direction you were going or if that's just the way that the sketch looked to me. Um, no, but that's I'm, really the only thing that I changed. Oh, um, and I, I'm totally yeah, that, that, and that's exactly the sort of stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I, I need that kind of feedback because I would have, you know. And, and then after I put the the jeans over the boots, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that works much better anyway. Yeah, it looks it looks more it looked more natural anyway, and and of course knowing knowing your affinity for boots, I was like I was like oh I got to get these boots right too like I, I got to make these look good. <laughs> they did look good. They looked Thank you. perfect. Uh, nice little what it was a narrow square toe, and they and they look broken in too, which yeah. I I thought was really important. Like the dude is used to doing stuff like that in his boots <laughs> yeah yeah and i remember that was one of the points that as i was sort of getting toward the end of it that i was like yeah i want to make sure he's roughed up so i roughed up the boots a lot like the jeans i tried to make sure that they had a lot of texture to them and then sort of felt like uh sort of felt like he'd been living in them for a while like even his skin i wanted to make sure that he was just dirty and dripping with sweat and just because you know what it's like in a desert everything's covered in dust everything's covered in sand you nailed it and the other thing that you did really well on. And one my, um, I think it was the last request that I had was that the text for the album be uh, vectorized. My parents have uh, a fabrication company, Twisted Wheel Fabrication, they have laser engravers. So I wanted to be able to take that text, life is for taking chances and put it on glassware, put it on mugs, like whatever we right. wanted to and uh, you did a great job with that too. When I sent it to my parents to start engraving on things, they were like, this file is perfect. They, they right. usually they get files where they have to like change it, um, redraw it, like especially from me, if I'm trying to make a vector file from them, they have to redo it all. And um, they, they just put the glassware on the machine and they just went with it. That's so great. is that something that you get a lot of requests for from businesses yeah and and actually you know i told you i was uh, corporate for 15 years that was that was pretty much what i did was was i worked in and in my case textiles so it was like i would do um you know prints for textiles and and sublimation and and i've done i've done tons of things for like signage and that sort of thing so so that process of of but, and it's very similar, you know, all those things do really follow a very similar sort of process where it's like, you need everything to be vector, you want everything to be built a certain way. So, so yeah, when you said that, I was like, oh yeah, that's no problem. Can you drop your Instagram and your website and stuff for the folks who are listening? Sure. Uh, yeah, the Instagram is at Isoban, I-S-O-B-A-N. Uh, and then uh, the website, isobon.com. Thanks so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. This was awesome. I think the art is incredible. It's getting loads of compliments every time I talk to people. You just nailed it. It's perfect. Thanks, man. I, and thank you, man. I, I really appreciate you coming to me for that. It was, it was a blast. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, next album. If you have any ideas. I'm just saying I'm I'll, I'll be around. <laughs> so Let's do it. To, feel free to reach <laughs> out, man. And and hey, and seriously, your uh, the the album as is, is now it's part of my playlist that lives in the background. It'll filter through and I'll just start it's I get some of that uh, life is for taking chances sort of influence uh, coming on whenever it comes up. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>